So let's look at a problem that has to deal with both potential and electric fields because we know they're related. Okay, so here's a parallel plate configuration with a uniform electric field between it, and I know some information about these two points, A and B. So what the problem asks is it says the difference in electric potential between the points A and B is 4.5 volts, and A and B are separated by 0 0.120 centimeters. Uh, if the entire separation between the plates is 2.55 centimeters, what is the electric fields between the plates, and what is the entire potential difference moving from one plate to the other? Okay, now, as always, there's implied information in this problem, and so you have to be careful, or you at least have to be cognizant of the fact that you have to extract from the problem some of the hidden bits of information. We're not being coy, we're not being deceptive, it's just the physical principles that we're using are very uh, stringent in terms of what they allow a physical system to look like. And so when you're given the complete specification of a physical system, by the simple fact that we draw a picture or we tell you some information, that implies a whole bunch of other pieces of information that are sometimes useful, sometimes not, but that they also can be used uh, with impunity. You can use them just because you know that they must in fact be true. Okay, now in this case, let's look at a couple of things before we start working on the problem. The first is, I'm told you uh, the potential difference between these points A and B. You'll notice that I haven't given you a sign, okay, but I've given you this drawing of the uh, parallel plates. And so I know that the potential is high on the positive side and low on the negative side. I know that the electric field points from high potential to low potential. And so what I know is that A is at higher potential than B. And so if I go from B to A, okay, so B to A, then I get plus 4.5 volts of potential difference. But if I were to go from A to B, then I get minus 4.5 volts, okay? And the reason that we uh, do that is we know that the difference of potential between points is the potential at my final point minus the potential at my initial point. And so if I start at A and end at B, that gives me a different sign than if I start at B and end at A. Okay, so keep that in mind as we solve the problem. Okay, so uh, we're told the uh, value of the potential, we're told some information about the distances, and what we ultimately want to know is the electric field. So we know a relationship between the electric field and the potential. We know that the change in potential that a particle experiences traveling through a uniform electric field okay, is the electric field times the distance that that particle is displaced through uh, the electric field. Okay, so this uh, is a simple formula that we've been using for the kinds of problems we've been doing. I'll remind you that it is not, in general, true for very complicated electric fields. There's calculus in the way where you have to actually do an integral to do this properly if you're moving through a variable electric field. Okay, but for our case, the electric field's uniform, so we can solve this. Okay, so I'm going to solve this for the electric field. The electric field is the change in potential over the displacement. Okay, and so in this case, I could think of this as, let's just pick two of the points. This is the difference in potential between the potential at A minus the potential at B. And so in the denominator, the displacement, the difference in position, is the x position at A minus the x position at B. Okay, now the way the problem is given to me, I'm given these values explicitly. I'm not given what the individual A and B values are, but if you had a more complicated problem, you would have to insert them in the appropriate place and make sure you are cognizant of what those sign values are. Okay, but for this problem, we're told the information in the form of the delta, so we can use that. Okay, so the electric field in this case is delta V over delta X, 
and in this case delta V between A and B is 4.50 volts and the displacement between those two points is 0.0012 meters. Okay, be careful to always convert to SI units so you get SI results. And so the answer to that, if you punch it out, is 3,750 volts per meter. Okay, now since we're working in a uniform electric field, I know everywhere in that problem, everywhere in between these two plates, that is the value of the electric field. Okay, so I'm going to use that using the exact same formula for potential um, and the separation of the plates to find the potential difference between the plates. Okay, so if I go back to the, where I started, delta V, okay, in this case, the change in potential between the plates is still equal to E delta X, in this case I now know E because I figured it out up here, times the delta X between the plates which in fact I'm told. Okay, so this becomes 3,750 volts per meter and the separation between the plates again making sure that I convert to SI units is 0 0.0255 meters. If I don't convert to SI units, if I were to be uh, a little bit sloppy and leave this as centimeters, the centimeters and the meters would not cancel. So it would clue you into the fact that you hadn't correctly converted your units. But in this case, they do cancel. And so if I multiply that out, I get that there is 95.6 volts of difference, uh, potential difference between the two plates in this problem. Okay? Now, um, this is written here without a sign. If I were to assume that it is positive, then that tells me that I'm specifying the potential difference in a very particular uh, way, namely that I'm describing the potential difference between the high potential minus the potential difference at the low potential. Okay, so the potential difference of the high plate, the plus plate, minus the potential between the negative plate would give me positive 95.6. If I were to assume this was negative, then it would be the opposite. The negative potential is the difference between the potential at the low plate minus the potential at the high plate would give me a negative value. Okay, so you just want to be careful that you get your signs correct. When you get to the end of a problem, make sure that you've answered the question that you've been asked. In this case, we were just asked what is the potential difference between the plates and not specified which plate I'm measuring as uh, from to. But sometimes we might say, what is the potential difference as I move from the negative plate to the positive plate? And that would imply a certain sign or a different sign than if you were asked, what is the potential difference if you move from the positive plate to the negative plate? Okay, so if you're ever in doubt, then just write down explicitly what you mean uh, and then you'll, you'll be just fine. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Good luck doing some more problems like this and we'll talk again soon.